Okay, today we are putting new speakers in the front doors of my truck. I had one of the paper cone factory Ford speakers blow out and it's making a crackling noise anytime I turn the music up. Well, basically anywhere loud enough to hear it above the wind noise. So, take the door panels off. There are two screws in um, recessed pockets near the door handle. Come on, there we go, there's those two. Uh, my handle is a little loose, so I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute. And how this section here comes out, pulls straight back. How you tighten up this handle, is there's a screw here, and there's a screw back here. This one's easy to tighten because it's accessible. But this one's a pain in the butt because you have to push your door lock button out. So I've just got that button loose and I can get to this other screw right there. And then that just pops right back. Now you do not need to take these wires off to get the door panel out. To get this main panel here off, there's one screw here, and that's that's the same screw as the uh, two that go into the handle assembly. And then there is one screw down here. And then uh, I put the lock down just so I don't have to try and pull it up and over that. It makes it easier putting the panel back on, also. This whole thing just um, pops right up like that. And then this slips right through there. I got the panel off. And how this attaches is that there's these hooks all over the door. And those just go right into these pockets here. <laughs> okay, next we've got the speaker to remove right here. I'll move you in a little closer. Now to get this speaker out, you just use a quarter inch nut driver and there's four screws. And I got those four off and it comes right out. It does have a gasket material on it, foam gasket material. Um, and then it's got a plug down here. Just pinch that and it comes right off. And there is your Ford speaker. It is paper cone, foam surround, or no, it's a paper surround, sorry. And it's a piece of junk. It blew out on the other side, so I'm just going to throw new speakers in. And for my new speakers, I have Kicker DS68s. Here is the Ford wiring adapter. Plugs right in. You can't do it backwards because one of these plugs is much smaller than the other. And then that just snaps right into your Ford harness here. take our screws and uh, you have to put all the screws in loose first because these uh, speakers just barely fit with the factory Ford mounting equipment. Now they, they do supply screws and uh, clips that you put on here. You put the clip on it's threaded in the back but the Ford factory stuff works so I'm just going to use that take our quarter inch nut driver again. Now that we got all of them in, I take them down to just about tight. Not loose enough that I can still move the speaker. And then I see if it, I can center it at all. I can center it vertically a little bit. And then uh, go ahead and tighten these down. 
and then we have our speaker in. Um, to get the door back together, the first thing to do is thread this back through the door panel, and then it uh, all the hooks just go into here and then slide in. Uh, the, the way to do this is uh, just reach through the door panel, pick up the uh, black insert with all the switches in it, and you just. Uh, Maneuver that through, and then make sure the lock's down. It makes it a lot easier to put this panel on. It's a little tricky to get everything lined up the first time, or it might just fall in for you. And now, move you in a little closer. There are just a few screws that hold this in. Now, I'm not sure if all the screws are the same colors, but uh, this gold one here goes in the little vent area in the bottom corner. Got one right here, and that screw looks like this. No washer or anything on it. Now if I, I pull this back a little bit so I can stick it through the same same spot in this uh, dust shield. So I'm not creating new holes. This panel goes back in and these just push in. There's uh, one, two, three, four, four of them and then a pin in the bottom. Make sure all your wires are going in, not getting smashed. we are and uh, while I was in there I tightened this handle which I guess I can show you that there's a screw here there's a screw down here you have to pop your lock button out to get to that but if your handles loose that's that's why those two screws and then there are two screws that go into these pockets underneath here 